Welcome footy fans to another update on all things football. Let's get straight into it, please subscribe if you've not already done so, for the latest updates. Kicking off with today's headline and other recent developments. Aston Villa's chances of winning the Premier League are debated among experts. Some express skepticism, citing the team's tough schedule towards the end of the season, potential squad stretching due to European commitments and a lack of resources compared to traditional powerhouses like Manchester City, Arsenal, and Liverpool. Others argue that Villa's remarkable form, especially at Villa Park, and their position near the top of the table make them genuine contenders, drawing parallels with Leicester City's historic 2015-16 campaign. However, concerns about squad depth and the ability to maintain consistency over a full season are raised, with some experts suggesting a more realistic target for Villa might be securing a place in the Champions League rather than winning the title. Nottingham Forest has sacked Steve Cooper after a poor run of form, including one win in 13 matches. Owner Avonelos Maranakis expressed gratitude for Cooper's contribution, particularly guiding Forest back to the Premier League. Nuno Espiritu Santo is set to replace Cooper, with Maranakis finalizing the deal. Cooper, despite leading Forest to promotion in 2022, faced pressure after recent defeats. The decision comes amid dissatisfaction with the team's performance, leaving Forrest in 17th place. Oliver Glasner and Hulan Lopetegui are also under consideration for the coaching role. Liverpool's Virgil van Dijk has responded to criticism from Manchester United legend Roy Keane after the goalless draw between Liverpool and United. Keane labelled van Dijk arrogant for claiming that Liverpool was the only team trying to win. Van Dyke defended his statement, expressing understanding of Keane's perspective but asserting the majority would agree with him. He emphasized the frustration of not scoring despite Liverpool's efforts and maintained his stance that United would be content with a point. Looking ahead, Van Dyke focused on the upcoming Carabao Cup quarter-final against West Ham, emphasizing the need for fan support. Luton Town's Tom Lockyer suffered a cardiac arrest during their match against Bournemouth, leading to the game's abandonment. The defender collapsed on the pitch early in the second half, prompting paramedics to intervene. Ludentown released a statement confirming the cardiac arrest, stating that Lockyer was responsive when taken off the pitch and is currently stable in the hospital undergoing further tests. Lockyer had previously experienced a similar incident during the championship playoff final last season, leading to heart surgery. The club expressed gratitude for the support from both sets of fans and emphasized the need for unity among players, staff, and supporters during this challenging time. Manchester United's recent 0-0 draw against Liverpool has left some players, including Luke Shaw, frustrated due to the team's inconsistent performances. Shaw, who played the full 90 minutes, expressed dissatisfaction with the lack of consistency, citing a notable win against Chelsea followed by defeats to Bournemouth and Bayern Munich. He emphasized the need for immediate changes to address the team's inconsistency and called for a consistent performance in every game. Additionally, there is speculation about a potential change in captaincy, with Bruno Fernandes currently holding the role, but some fans expressing concerns about his temperament and suspension. Sure, a senior member of the squad is considered a prime candidate for the captain's armband if a reshuffle occurs. Chelsea is considering selling academy graduate Conor Gallagher in the January transfer window for around £50 million, hoping to fund further transfers. Despite his significant contributions and being a regular captain under manager Mauricio Pochettino, Chelsea seems open to offers from Everton, Tottenham, and Newcastle. However, Pochettino has expressed a desire to retain Gallagher, emphasizing his importance due to his Chelsea values, academy background, and commitment on the pitch. The manager's preference for keeping Gallagher contrasts with the reported intention to sell, potentially leading to a managerial board conflict. Liverpool's Luis Diaz is currently struggling to find his best form, with a notable drop in threat level since his impressive start at the club. His recent performances have been less effective, marked by predictability and a tendency to cut inside consistently. Factors contributing to this decline include a serious knee injury and the emotional toll of his father's kidnapping during the current season. Despite being highly rated by Jurgen Klopp, Diaz has struggled to match his earlier performances, scoring only once in his last 14 Premier League appearances. To address this, suggestions include a rearrangement of the front line, with the possibility of Diaz benefiting from playing with Cody Gakpo as the number 9, dropping deep to occupy defenders. Experimenting with Diaz as a centre-forward during Mohamed Salah's absence at AFCON is also proposed. 
Klopp may need to explore these tactical adjustments to revitalize Diaz's form and contribute more effectively to Liverpool's attacking prowess.